tonight on News Final. Are new powerful motorcycles too much to handle for inexperienced riders? Justin Trudeau comes to Saskatoon to take part in a health conference. And in sports, getting familiar with the two players the riders traded Kerry Joseph for. From Global Saskatoon, News Final with Lisa Dutton. Good evening. Last night we told you about the alarming number of motorcycle crashes in our city this spring. Part of the problem could be how easy it is to get a license to drive a two-wheeler, as it doesn't require any formal training. Global's Julie Boyer has more. If you want to ride one of these, all you need is a passing score on SGI's written test, followed by a short road test to prove you can actually drive it. Ever since spring arrived, our city's emergency services say they've responded to too many accidents. And we've seen that in the month of May this month, we did 11, which is double of what we did in the last four years. So it's over 100% increase, which is dramatically high for us. A lot of people are focused on gas prices and on the environment and that kind of thing and they're choosing alternative ways to get to and from work. Um, but with that comes a lot of inexperience. A lot of new drivers are going for the sport bike which is known for speed. They will get you to uh, zero to dead as we say in a, in a big hurry. I know a lot of the younger fellows on the sport bikes they feel that they have the skills because they rode a dirt bike when they were uh, growing up on the farm and well they know all about motorcycling and what they don't consider is that an 80 year old gentleman in a Lincoln Continental can change lanes faster than they can go by. There are defensive driving schools in our city. The Saskatoon Motorcycle Training Course is one of them. It's run out of this church parking lot every May through August. The instructors have worked for Canada Safety Council and have been riders themselves for 20 plus years. They teach lessons like balance, accident prevention, and predicting the moves of other drivers around you. Awareness is 100%. Uh, when you're on a bike, uh, shoulder checking and looking and observing and it, it's a lot more work than what a lot of people consider it to be. He says the hardest lesson is getting rid of bad habits. Bad habits are what ends up coming to hurt you in the end. And that's something every biker can put to use no matter how many miles they have on their ride. Julie Boyer, Global News. Calgary RCMP are asking for our help in the investigation into the death of a Saskatchewan man near Lake Louise last week. Police have confirmed